Welcome back to another reaction video. This, the next few posts are all going to just be from Epica's EP, um, The Alchemy Project. And it's because Epica is my favorite band and I've been waiting for this basically. And so I've heard this song, uh, The Great Tribulation and um, The Final Lullaby because they were singles. But I haven't heard the new single that came out uh, today for me, which will probably be either tomorrow or another day. I'm going to see how I schedule this because I'm going to schedule this with um, Makai. He's another actor. He's going to do the lyrical breakdown. I'm going to do bas well, the lyrical and the musician um, breakdown part. I'm just going to listen to it and tell you what I think because I'm not like fancy with all that. Um, but, but I love Epica and I love Flesh God. So, you know, for me, when I heard this song for the first time, it was just a match made in heaven. So let's just listen to it. If you haven't listened to it, well, this is a great time. Let's give it a listen. Just in case you're not, um, if you haven't been here before, I try to pause it maybe two to three times just for copyright purposes. But um, I'm not like the most vocal in um, the epic like comic community. I used to be not anymore. Um, I've had other stuff. Um, I've found other bands I'm doing and stuff like that. But um, one thing I did find that most people like had trouble on was which growls uh, were which. So like the first growl you heard, which was um, this is the greatest tribulation was Mark, and then you had Simone, and then you had another growl come in um, that some, said something on the lines of, uh, it will bring us pain and suffering. That's Francesco from Fresh from Flesh God Apocalypse. That's him. Um, just in case. Um, and then Simone again, and then Mark came in uh, again. And then you'll see in, 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 when they do this uh, verse or whatever again, this time instead of Mark starting, it will be Flesh God, Simone, Mark, then... Uh, uh, Simone again and then both of them but the part together it was them both so sort of like that so this next verse is Francesco Simone then it's Mark then Simone and then both Mark and Francesco
yeah, this would be my last boss because I want the Vesta to just go out like in one smooth way. Um, I love how like uh, during the last part you had um, Mark, uh, Mark and Francesco come together, but they were sort of doing it at different times. So you had like um, Mark say uh, spread. And then like, but he would like hold it and then Francesca would come underneath it and say um, a light, but Mark would also say it at the same time, but like a little bit delayed. Um, unless it was Francesca that was delayed, but they're both sort of delayed, but it, it's like a really cool effect that I like. And then it was really heavy. I like that part. That's I think that's one of my favorite part of the song right next to this next piece with Simone. And we're just going to let it play out. I would give, I will attempt to read the lyrics in the description of the video, but I have no idea. Mostly, um, like song, like song meetings and stuff. I, I allow that like to be given to me because I'm not the best when, you know, understanding like the meaning of songs or getting them on. Even if I listen to a song multiple times, I still may not get it. This is like to this date like I have like I have like my favorite Epica songs um, they're all great like like I couldn't name you a bad Epica song because they're to me they're all really well done and I like them all um, even though I love the heavier stuff the softer stuff I still I still like to listen to on like whenever I'm in certain moods but um like classic Epica what I mean by classic I mean older Epica maybe which is like from the first album to like the third album maybe fourth album i'd say like my favorite it's along the lines of like the obsessive devotion or like facade of reality um but like overall um the obsessive devotion like new epica which is like more recent stuff which is like you know like um holographic principle um omega and this i'd say this the great tribulation is my favorite so far i like how heavy it is and i love the the orchestra that's in the beginning um, and I love how the orchestra came in again during somewhat the middle um, to for with the Latin again, like in the beginning, um, you know, which sort of leads into Simone. But um, I love that. And then the solo was more so it could be Isaac, but I think personally it might have been uh, is it Fabio. I think that's his name. I could be wrong. The the the, the lead guitarist of uh, Flesh God and uh, keyboard solo or synthesizer, how you want to say it, that could be Cohen or I don't know how to, is it Kuhn? I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, ben America, it's Cohen. Uh, or that could, but I don't think that was um, Francesco, the other, um, which is the pianist in Flesh God. I don't think that's him because he typically plays grand piano. Or you know, just a classical piano, and and I think it's 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 more likely that it's um, Cohen that did that. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's 
go description. Yep. Yeah, let's see Latin, which is a beginning choir. Uh, see, this is the greatest tribulation. That's Mark. Then Simone. Then uh, it will cause us. It will cause us pain and suffering. That's Francesco, uh, lead uh, rhythm guitarist, not um, the pianist. Um, we can't escape. Which is Simone is part of our evolution. That's Mark. Then Simone, and then trust your instinct is both Mark and Francesco. Then we start here with Francesco. Then Simone, Mark, Simone, Francesco, Simone, and then both of them again. You know uh, the laws of time to take to take our lives. I love that. When choir comes in with Simone, Simone, this part is absolutely awesome. Um, see spread light. Uh, I, this is when like Mark and um, Francesco does like the dual growls, but like one of them slightly delayed. And then Mark on um, let the inner force be on your side. Then once again, the, the dual growls and then trust the path, our fate, put into practice what you got along the along the way that's mark and then once again the choir from the beginning intro with um latin again um simone and you know sort of the slower part um which sounds the uh, sounds more middle eastern which i like is you know the part and then the the moment we living reveals our true identity which is right before you repeat the chorus which once again leads into laws of time to tell our lives um it seems tribulation being sort of like an obstacle. Um, it being great, I meaning it's like it's like a really like a really bad obstacle to go through. And since the back is more like a destruction type thing, it's sort of it seems kind of like the end of the world type deal, like an apocalypse is sort of coming, which would make sense as flesh out apocalypse. But I actually love this um, uh, how you say uh, thumbnail. I cover so much that it's like my uh it's my cover uh cover screen for my um my laptop um which i love and then like on my phone it's uh it's just the the woman because i just love the aesthetic because my favorite colors are green and blue but um this video will lead into makai's um lyrical breakdown because he, he'll probably go more in depth about it um he'll probably do um more in depth about music as well um but yeah, um, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can. It's not. I'm not going to force you to do it. Same with Discord. If you want to join Discord, we can chat there. You can add um, recommendations there. Um, we have a re uh, reaction or request tab. If you put it in there, your your request gets done before a YouTube request. It's that easy. Um, same with liking, subscribing, sharing, um, commenting. You don't have to, but if you want to, it's much appreciated, just as with Patreon. Um, but that's all I have for you. This was Epica um, featuring Flesh God Apocalypse with the song The Greatest Tribulation, which to me is just a perfect 10. Uh, to date, my favorite Epica song, Epica is my favorite band, so to me it's automatically a 10. And I love it. I listen to it almost every day, not every day. Um, but um, yeah, I think this is a very great song. And if you love it and this is your first time checking out Epica, you should definitely dive more into them. They have many albums. It's, it's worth going down that hole. Thanks for watching.